Chess friends, how are you? Today I played with Alpha Zero at the level of 4200 LO ratings. In this game I sacrificed my pieces against him and this is a big win for me because I defeated him with black pieces. The two most important days in your life are the day you are born and the day you find out why, so let's go, Alpha started the game with d4, we have knight f6, c4 to control more center squares and after some moves later we have Nimso Indian defense, here white can consider a6 knight f3, normal line e3 or classical variation queen c2, alpha played e3 so after knight to e2, I want to play d5 but I am following Magnus Carlsen opening, we have a3 bishop a5 d5, I played castle rook to b1 by alpha, he want to push the b-pawn to captive my bishop on this square, no matter what alpha will play but I am much stronger than him, I played knight a6 and he played f3, proving that he is a nonsense, does it make sense? Maybe he wants to push the pawn to create a pawn chain like the Hikaru bot 200 LO live stream, so we have center exchanges and I pushed the pawn, I want to play rook b8 to push it and create an open file, king f2, what the mad type of move, that's a pure bon cloud opening, does he showing me his attitude? So let me break his ego with rook b8, nag g3 was possible but he played e4, weakening the king diagonal, that diagonal can be bandaged by the dark square bishop, I played d6 with the idea of playing knight d7 to get this square to target the structure with f5, that will bring strom to your king and his donkeys, bishop a6 will be a reasonable choice to get active on this diagonal, believe me or not this queen diagonal is as worthy as Levi Rosman's the rook shout out, ok we have bishop e3 knight d7. Knight g3 to target this pawn with two pieces, so I blocked it with c4 and you may go for the pawn, let me show you the variation, then bishop b6 check will arrive, you have to take it then after queen takes b6 check king e1, knight e5 to get this square, you may play bishop e2 thinking that, this square is well protected, stockfish can't attack me, no fool I can attack you from 1 million ways, before and after doing pawn exchanges, the knight is coming to the d6 square and you can't stop me. I will try to open up my f file or I will play bishop a6 to seize this diagonal, b6, try to open up the file then will play knight e3 check, takes and queen check, ha ha I didn't take your bishop, your brain will think to block the check with bishop, and then knight d3 check will arrive, king here queen f2 checkmate. Don't settle for what life gives you, make life better and build something, so back to the position, we have before to target it, I played on Passan move, knight takes pawn, knight e5 knight takes a7, knight c5 and you shouldn't take the knight because the bishop is the only piece who is protecting the king as well, the king will be insured and the knights are creating threat to that square, f5 may come to open up the position, so he takes my knight square bishop, rook takes c8 f4, and I played brilliant bishop b6 move, sacrificing the knight, in my games, sacrifices and brilliant moves are common thing, it's not like 69 LO Gotham games, opponent plays blunder then you too, then someone finds brilliant move by accident, and he don't know anything about it, he accepted the sacrifice and I pushed the f-pawn, I want to open the f-file, so after e takes f5 we have knight e4 check, the knight can't be taken because of queen h4 check, the knight and the king will be caught by the queen at the same time, so if you think like a Martin chess bot and plays king g1 then I will capture the bishop, it will be a shameful checkmate by a bishop, put your face in a gutter to hide it from everyone, so in this position if you find king e1, then we will play bishop a5 check king e2 then knight c3 will fork up your king and queen, your unlucky days will start, so back to the position alpha played king f3. Knight takes g3 and if you take it with the king then rook c3 will come to attack the bishop, so rook takes pawn to protect this rank, therefore we will play queen g5 check, king has to move back then we will capture the bishop and alpha's time will be over, you're not defined by your past, you're prepared by it. You're stronger, more experienced and you have greater confidence, so back to the position, we have h takes g3, rook takes f5 check, and no matter where the king will go, he will suffer, if king e2 happen then we will give a rook check, the king have to move back, king e1 then we will capture the bishop and this is coming, and how will you protect it? You have to take the rook and you will lose your queen and the game, 
So chess friends, if you want to be smart like me then you can like and subscribe to my YouTube channel to become a strong player like Stockfish, not a chess joker like other YouTubers, so back to the position, we have bishop f4 to block it, so rook c3 check, here if you move the king, for example king e4 then we will play queen e8, to go to the g6 square to mate him, and this square is guarded by the rook. So you have to block it with the bishop, queen g6 king backs then we will capture the bishop, takes takes and this will fork to the king and queen again, so back to the position, here if you play king to e2 then we will play queen c8 to give him check on this square, if rook b2 to protect it, then we will sacrifice the rook, takes rook e3 check, king here then queen c3 will be a check and mate, so back to the position, if you think what about king e4, then we will take it, takes then rook e3 check, king here takes here queen c8 check, king g5 bishop d8 check and mate, this will be a wild checkmate, so back to the position, the king can't move, I mean long time ago he moved his king and now can't even move it, ha ha ha, we have queen d3, bishop d4, taking the queen was not good so after queen takes rook, enjoy the game with my beautiful piano music. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.